Osuna, Sweden. Two young ladies from Europe quench their thirst at the same table. Miss Sweden, Yvonne Reading, and Martine Robin, Miss France. And how do you folks here in Miami feel about Miss Sweden? I'm going to talk with you next, Miss Sweden. She's Yvonne Reading. She's 21. She's a licensed practical nurse. How long have you been a nurse? Three and a half years. And your chaperone told me that you have gone to a Miami hospital with a sore throat. Yes, I have. As a nurse, do you think they took good care of you there at the Miami hospital? Yes, they took a very good care of me, yes. That should be reassuring to you folks who are planning to get sick here in Miami. <laughs> Now, you are a practical nurse, yes. and uh, you are here in Miami. Have you, have you been to the United States before? Yes, I have. This is the third time in the United States. Where have you visited? I have been for six years ago. I was in New Jersey and played soccer. <laughs> Where else? And I have been in Seattle, Washington State. In Washington? Yes. Did you visit Darrington, Washington? No. Did the state officials tell you anything about the historical significance of Darrington, Washington? Uh, <laughs> you mean no one told you that Bob Barker was born in no. Darrington, Washington? <laughs> no. There was no monument on the highway? <laughs> Not I'm, even a refrigerator? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're forgiven. Thank you, Miss Sweden. Thank you. Miss Sweden. Yvonne is a blue-eyed blonde. She's five feet seven inches tall and weighs 114 pounds. Yvonne is 21 years old. Miss Sweden. Now, may I have Miss Sweden? Miss Sweden, right out here to me. And Miss Sweden, the question is should you be the new Miss Universe? You will become a symbol to young women and girls all over the world. What would you like to tell them? Yes, I think I wanted to tell them that have their own personality to always try to stand with the both feet on the floor <laughs> <laughs> and try to, well, I think that there's the most important to always standing with both feet on the floor and be try to to um, do other people happy and help and help us. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Sweden. Now, Miss Columbia. Yes, to my mind, she's my.
best wishes. Good luck. And thank you, Tom Jones. And you armchair judges, if you've been wavering throughout this pageant, picking one contestant as our winner and then switching to another, let me tell you that you're running out of time. Yes, sir. You better make up your mind. Both of you step right down here, please. Now, one of you is about to become Miss Universe. The other is the first runner-up. An important position, because if for any reason Miss Universe cannot fulfill her obligations for the entire year, the first runner-up becomes Miss Universe. I shall read the name of the first runner-up, and then Miss Universe. The first runner-up is Miss South Africa. Miss Sweden is Miss Universe. Congratulations. totaling more than $175,000. And now as your predecessor, Lorraine Downs, reads the Miss Universe Creed, I want you to take your flowers and step right out and show everyone how happy you are to be our new Miss Universe. This is Bob Barker thanking you for joining us and saying good night, everyone. This is Joan Van Ark saying good night to everyone. Thank you for joining us on a very exciting evening. Good night, y'all. Congratulations to the new Miss Universe. This program will be recorded.